Everything around us, every arch, every angle, every open space and all, whether man-made or natural, is fundamentally about numbers. It's mathematics. And wherever there is a number, say mathematicians, there is beauty. Certainly Westminster Cathedral is a pretty good case in point for that. And the beauty of numbers has always captivated the Colombian maths professor, Maria Losada. She's had a passion for the subject since childhood and an almost equally long-standing passion for maths challenges. During a recent visit to Huawei's Dongguan campus in China, Professor Losada met my colleague, J.F. Tromblay, and he began by asking her why she felt maths competitions were so important. Math competition has a personal element. Even for me, I, I participated in math competitions. So I had always been interested in math and I always was good in math. And in fact, was very lonely in that being good in math. I mean, I was fine at home where my parents were both mathematicians, but in school I, you know, I was the person who everyone sat around when there was a math exam. I was fine, but I mean, they didn't share my love for math. And once I got into math competitions, I met so many other people like me. That's a very personal element, but it's also something that each student in the math Olympiad community finds. They find people like them. And secondly, it opens up mathematics as you never had seen it before. Like you might have been good in math before, and then all of a sudden here you have challenges that are so beautiful. I mean, there is an element of beauty in mathematics and you see it, and you see it immediately. And so you have problems that capture you. They capture your imagination. They, they make you want to solve them. We find that mathematics com competitions has greatly contributed to renovating the scientific community in the world. So in recent decades, um, new fields like computer sciences, AI, um, aeronautics even, uh, that are offshoot of math seem to be taking the limelight. Um, is math still in a good place? Is it still a thriving field? Or is it still, is it now taking second place to these newer fields? Oh, I wouldn't say so at all. In fact, uh, ever since I got here, this company, Huawei, has shown how much they value mathematicians because they realize that in the long run, a problem will end up being a mathematical problem. An application of mathematics before would be mainly in physics or maybe some engineering. But nowadays you find mathematics everywhere. Women are a minority in the fields of math. I, according to statistics I looked up, they were about a third. And from videos that uh, I've seen of, ma of math and science competition, there are also fewer in number. Yeah, 10%, about a little bit above 10%. Do you know or can you think of a reason why that would be? I would say most of it is cultural. Mo most of it is, you know, once a girl reaches a certain age, the cultural influ influence of what a woman should do as a person comes in. And we, for example, in our own mathematics competitions, find that in primary school and in early high school, like middle school, the girls are fine. They're doing as well as the boys. There's no difference. But once they reach a certain age and they're more ladylike, many of them just don't put so much priority into the math. They have other things to think about. And it's very cultural. I mean, I guess in, our, in, in my country, it might be more culture than in other countries. But th that's the reality. That does not mean that the woman does not have the same ability um, to compete just means that it's not such a high priority. You're visiting Huawei, which raises the question, um, what can companies uh, do 
to um, help the field of math flourish. Companies can support the national math competitions. On the other hand, companies can support the organizers of the international math competition. Because when an international math competition takes place, students come from all over the world, and once they reach the country they're in, the host takes over. So the host takes them everywhere. The host has to pay for their lodging, their food. The host has to do, um, has so many expenses just to make it happen. Academic expenses, material expenses, prize expenses, all kinds of stuff. So math is not a very expensive subject. But all these competitions do require money. And that is one way of, of supporting uh, math, you know, the math competitions.